<laughs> I'm just going to preface this vlog by saying that I'm an idiot. I spent over £1,000 on this trip and everything I recorded, I had my thumb over the microphone. Most of the audio I've been able to salvage or use other people's footage, but there might be some bits where I have to voice over. So apologies for that. Um, I guess I'm a boomer now. So, I've got to grab a coach to get down to London, but I don't know where I'm getting the coach from, and it's in, what shot is, it's in about an hour, ah, <sighs> shit. We finally made it to the party, and before we knew it, it was time for the premiere. 14 complete strangers from across the world will enter this virtual house with one goal in mind, to be the last one standing. My name's Papoli, I'm a personal trainer from Derby, and I'm gonna win Big Brother to prove that virgins can do anything. And uh, there's been a curveball and my ex-girlfriend has been put in this game. Whoa! Papoli likes to do this to me, he likes to sabotage me. First, I'm not putting yeah. the fucking milk in Put first, milk in you first. heathen! <laughs> I'm gonna assault your ass, come here. <laughs> <laughs> and once it ended, it was time for the party to now really begin. I arm wrestled this fella. I found this clip, but for the life of me, I can't recall what the context behind it is. Monkey smells finger. Monkey smells finger. And then we went to a diner for some food. Oh wow! I was going to use a fork and knife. Crazy. And that brought an end to the very long day one. All right, so we literally passed out when we got in last night. It was crazy. Me and Dad. A long day. We were almost falling asleep in the diner we were in, but it was such a great party. Last night as well, we did get lost uh, on the way home, so it's about 20 blocks that way. And we went to take the subway, and our subway route wasn't running, so we came back out the subway and went what I thought was the right way. In New York, it's like a big grid. So I thought we were going right along the streets, but it turns out we were going up through the avenues. So, an hour walking around at midnight in New York after a couple of bevies. Oh, oh, we could have died. There was a, an old lady that kind of like was like following us crossing the road. Please help me. Please help me. I just learned one thing. Uh, you, know, you know, don't stop to anyone in New York. And old ladies are evil. There's just like so many weird mysteries with this room. Like, you've got this tool. It doesn't work. I don't know what this thing is, but it... Something. Now that we've got this view, I see stuff like this, so I've tried to, you know, open the window. But like... No! I feel like I've pushed my card, I'm just going to push the window out and that would, um... This camera doesn't do it justice, we're on the 21st floor. That that would be, um... It's the Pride Parade. I think I might get done for a hate crime. Here? Which, um... Does it just go to another room? I mean... 
just kind of open at the top. How do I get in? No. It's another door. Today we're just gonna kind of see how it goes. We're gonna go get breakfast and then I mean there's a sex museum. That'd be a learning experience. I've day walked ten times last night. How many times have I do it today? So we headed into Times Square to meet up with Hannah and Mike and we went to a sandwich shop for some breakfast, which <laughs> blew me away. We then grabbed a Starbucks where they served Royal English breakfast. <laughs> what? And then went to meet up with the others. Why is there a gorilla? But before everyone turned up, this happened. <laughs> America. What? We took a tour of NBC Studios, Whoa. checked out the M&M and the Lego store, where some of us had a bit too much fun. <laughs> He's about to drop him. And then we headed down to get some lunch with everybody. Dan, how are you feeling? Sexy. Okay. How did you feel about the party last night? About the party? Yeah. The party was an absolute super lit rancher. That was so fucking American. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how are you feeling about the turnout of like the oh, episodes on like the reception of it? Uh, the reception is exactly what we wanted and we are we are on track to doing big things in this community. Last night's event was an absolute banger just like Spencer said. And um, who knows, maybe we'll do another one next year. How do you feel about a lot of people saying they hate half the cast? That was a weird day. Let me get two Chris, how do you feel about the current economic climate in America? <laughs> it's like, give me more money, right? Like, I could use more money myself. Like, socialism. I agree. Socialism. Yeah. Can I have some money? Oh. <laughs> oh. Give him the coins, he doesn't know how to read them. Uh, yeah, here. Seven pennies? <laughs> Yo, how did you feel, Mike, after being on production? What did you feel about everyone watching the show yesterday? It felt great after almost like a year. I get to see how much work we put into it. Yeah. It was cool seeing everyone's reactions, especially like blogs and TVs and daddies. Yeah. Did you guys can finally see everything because you guys don't know a lot. No. So it's cool to see like everything come together. Yeah. How are you, Hannah? <laughs> Wake up, 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 wake after that, four of us went over and headed to Broadway to watch Peter Pan Gone Wrong, which I just have to say was so good. <laughs> What's the worst word you know? The worst word I know? Yeah. Girl! Okay. Fun guy. I love shrooms. Do you think he'd wake up if I undid his shoelaces and tied them together? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do it. Do what? No, I don't use that word. I know. So day two ended, and the final day had dawned. <laughs> Today we really just wanted to complete the New York bucket list, so we wanted to try some New York pizza. But before we went there, Andrew took us on a little detour to 7-Eleven. What the 
that. Swedish I'll fish. I'll still go to Bobby and then... I'm going to go to start Bobby. Yours yeah. for exception. Yo. How much salsa do you need? Why is the salsa so big? That's so cool. I've never seen a crate in the fish before. A box of beer. Are you holding like a case of beer? A box of beer. That's that's a crate, bro. That's that's a crate. You're crazy. You're you're crazy. Yeah, just like that's so big. Twenty five cent. What's twenty five cent? Twenty five ounces. Smell like I sure hope he does. <laughs> then we finally got to the pizza place, and I'm just gonna let this clip speak for itself. I <laughs> approve. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so big. <laughs> she said, she said. She did. Yeah, oh, like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know how to fold it. You gotta, you gotta fold it. Fold, fold. What do you mean? You gotta, you gotta fold. You okay? Oh, it's awful. How do we, what, what were we ready? What were we ready? Oh, let me fold it. Let me do it. Do it with the fold. fold. You went yeah. for the square fold. That's an easy nine. Oh. We headed back to the house. I tried out Prime for the first time, as well as Feastables. That's actually nice. Shit. Sure. It says share, yeah, so. It tastes like chocolate. What? <laughs> no way! Tastes good chocolate. Does it compare itself to dairy milk? Uh, it's better than dairy milk. Uh, I'm just saying. Just because it's Mr. Beast. No. Well, then I know I'd be doing that for four weeks. Feeding him chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of like cooking chocolate, but nicer. And then the unthinkable happened. More than 1,600 flights canceled today nationwide. When a combination of summer storms and a fire in an air traffic control facility started the domino effect of delays. More than 1,400 flights canceled Sunday, more than 2,200 yesterday, and as of late this afternoon, more than 1,600 today. Some just gave in to the purgatory. Oh, we were all starting to be trapped in New York City. The storm was coming down, and it was only a matter of time before it stopped us getting back to the UK. So we had to run. I have been travelling for the last 26 hours and I finally made it back to where I live. The streets, because I'm a slut. I just wanted to wrap this up now by saying that this weekend has been one of, if not the best weekends of my life. And that's thanks to everybody that came, literally everyone that I met, except for one person, you... You know who you are. Ugh. New York, and America for that matter, is so much better than I could have ever imagined it would be. I love it so much. I'm back in this country and it just smells wet. <sighs> My torch has just gone past. Wow. If you go that way, you could drop me off at the door. I've slept no more than six hours in the last 60. It's gone, so I'm so sleep deprived that I've been having visual and auditorial hallucinations. So, with all that said and done, I love America now. So, with that all out of the way, all I've got left to say, I am walking I can do that now, because I'm not going to get shot.
Oh, fuck. I forgot people in England still have knives. They're chasing me. They're chasing me. Oh.